Snowy, why did you run like that? A beetle? But you can't just... I mean, we're lucky to be alive. Don't worry. What's done is done. Now, let's find a way out of here. What? There's something on the other side. We've got to find a way to open this door. It looks like the place where builders, or embalmers, or whoever worked here took their breaks.
you see that, Snowy? The light beam from the statue is shining through the hole in the door. Let's see if it works. Let's be careful. Who knows what we'll find in there. I hope you're not still thinking about the beetle. Do you see that giant kiosk symbol on the ground surrounding the statue? I guess it must be some kind of door again. Speaking of which... That's exactly what I thought. I wonder what this scale is for. Am I supposed to put something on it? This must be the kind of sleigh that the professor told me about. The ones that ancient Egyptians used to transport heavy things. me about this when I learned to play chess. It's Senet, its ancient Egyptian cousin. There's nothing inside. It looks like a crossing between rails, like the ones those other statues with the mirrors were mounted on. But what are those two holes for? What kind of wood can last so many centuries? I could use the stick I took as a lever, but it's way too thick to fit between the... I'd say it only opens completely when something heavier than me stands on that exact spot on the ground. Look at all that sand pouring in. If we gave it enough time, it could fill the whole room. Let's hope all this helps me in the end. Oh 
no. That fallen stone is blocking the way, and it's too heavy to even think about moving it. One cannot but wonder, how much does a grain of sand weigh? This reminds me of something the professor told us about, the weighing of the heart. Ancient Egyptians thought that, when you died, your heart was weighed against a feather. If they balanced, you were rendered worthy of paradise. Hmm. Maybe we should find a heart and a feather and put them on the statue's weighing scale. sounded like the bad kind of click. Something bad's bound to happen. I can feel it. These amphorae are full of scrolls. One can only imagine how many secrets are kept inside. Is it the feather or the heart that goes here? I guess it's the same either way. Oh look! A white gem! I wish I could remember the names of all the gods the professor told me about.
What's happening, Snowy? Oh. Ah. Ah. Yes! Oh my! That's the worst kind of click I've ever heard! Oh. Run, Snowy! Close call, wasn't it? I hope I did it right. Whoever made this statue in the shape of stairs, I sure appreciate it. Ooh, I'm not going to fall, don't worry. Move away, Snowy! Heavy enough. Ever wondered how much a grain of sand weighs, Snowy? Just one million times less than one million grains. That's about how many grains are in here. I hope it doesn't close now.
Ooh, I know you were expecting a beetle. But look. Such an incredible piece of art. Isn't it? <laughs> If there's such a thing. Better step back. My word! Did you see that? Come on, let's go. dark in here. Luckily, that beam of light shines all the way down to... Uh, our destination, I guess. If we've learned anything about ancient Egyptians, besides their love of self-closing doors, is that light beams point to the exit. That's better. Remember Chicago? When I climbed from window to window on that building? Oh. This is much higher. A tunnel? Bad luck, it's too small. Snowy, can you... <laughs> Great. But be careful, will you? We're so lucky you're smaller than I am. Snowy? The tunnel must be really long.
What? What are you trying to say? Oh, that was it. You never cease to impress me. Yes, old boy. You're amazing. Come on, let's keep moving. Phew! That makes that Chicago building seem like a piece of cake! We're just bats. They always manage to scare. Shh! Don't even think about opening that. Uh oh. Oh dear, again? Run! By thunder! Don't they ever run out of closing doors? <laughs> <laughs> 